Hi and welcome to another tutorial on the HTML canvas. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to draw arcs and how to draw uh, semicircles and circles on the canvas. So to get started in the body section of the web page we can add a canvas and we can give it an ID and I'm going to give my canvas an ID of my canvas just to keep things simple and a width of um, just make a width of 500 and a height of uh, 500 as well. So height of 500 um, probably won't be need that much room, but we'll just make plenty of room available to try out some different size uh, circles and arcs. Okay, so in the head section, we'll add a style. So we will um, put two style tags here, opening and closing style tag. And we'll refer to the canvas by its ID. And um, we'll just give it a border of one pixel solid and black, just so we can see where the canvas is while we're working on it. So um, in the body section, we'll also add um, the script tags. And this is where the JavaScript is going to go to draw our arcs and um, draw up a circle. So Firstly, we'll create a function called draw. And this is where we're going to actually draw um, some arcs and create a circle. So we'll set this up by saying var ctx equals document dot get element by ID. And we'll grab the uh, canvas bytes ID, which is my canvas. Get context and 2D. Okay, so we'll just set that up so we can use all the different properties um, for the canvas. And we'll say ctx.arc. Now, inside these brackets here, there's um, a whole heap of different values that we can specify. That we can specify. So I had a comment here just to um, show what each of these numbers are. So firstly, we put the X position of where we want um, to start drawing and the Y position. We specify the radius, um, the start angle. Um, so X and Y positions, radius, the start angle, the uh, end angle, and then whether we want this to be um, clockwise or anti-clockwise. So false or true. False means anti-clockwise. Okay, so when we swing arcs around, they'll either swing around in a clockwise fashion or a anti-clockwise fashion. All right, so we'll add, start adding the numbers. So we'll set this up so that um, the arc, well, we'll say it begins at about um, X position of 200 and Y position of 200. It'll have a radius of 100. The start angle will be zero. And then we can um, specify the end angle. So I'm going to first to specify one, so you can see what this means when we actually view it in the browser. And then I'll say false, so that um, the um, arcs will swing around in anti-clockwise um, fashion. Okay, so what we'll do next is we will say on the next line, which is, uh, there, so ctx dot stroke in brackets, and then outside of the function, we need to add a window dot onload event. So this function will actually run when the page loads. So we'll call that draw function when the page loads, and then we'll just check that everything's all right in the browser. Okay, there we go. So um, it's actually. Um, swinging around a clockwise direction, not um, an anti-clockwise direction. So we specified false there, and the arc is actually spinning around in a clockwise direction. So we've got uh, one arc. So if we go back to Chrome, we have a radius of one, and we've swung, swung one arc around. So we could specify, oops, change that back. We could specify two, and now that arc is even longer we could change that to three 
and the arc should become even longer. It's almost a semicircle, but it's not completely. If we want to get a semicircle, instead of putting in a number there, we can actually say math.pi, capital P-I, all right? And then if we refresh, it's a proper semicircle. If we want to make it a full circle, then it says math.pi times two. All right, and that's how you draw a circle. So you can either draw arcs by specifying numbers in there. We can um, put num numbers in there, or we can draw a semicircle by saying math.pi, or a full circle by saying math.pi and multiply that by two. You can, it, it doesn't have to just be an integer. It can be a number with decimal places. So math.pi would actually be 6.28. So it will have the same effect, but we could make it something like 5.4. And that's what you would get. So an almost closed circle. All right, so we'll change that back to math.pi times two so that we have a um, full circle. All right, um, actually what we'll do is we'll change that to math.pi. Make sure it's a capital I as well there. I just made a little mistake and refresh and we've got our semicircle there but now if i change that from false to true it should actually flip over there we go so now it's um flipped over to the other side okay so that is basically how to um draw arcs and how to draw um circles and how to use math dot pi to get semicircles and math.pi multiplied by two to get a full circle. Okay, um, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.